In this question, we are given that the length of AC is the same as the length of DE. What we are asked to prove is the following. So we should always start at the question. And so what I'm going to do is, well, what we know is that it's not going to be proportionality because there aren't any triangles that have this type of setup. Okay, so it's definitely going to be similarity. Another thing to realize is that similarity is always about triangles. So the only triangles we actually have in this diagram, well, I guess there is a third one, but yeah, let's first go circle DE. So we know that DE is there. Now, what triangle is that a part of? Well, that is a part of this triangle. And so that's most likely a triangle that we are going to use. BC, let's look at BC. So BC is a part of this triangle. And so there's a 95% chance that that is going to be the triangles that we are going to have to work in. AE, well AE is just part of that, that's that line over there. So that's part of the green triangle that I just showed you. So let's go ahead and let's work in those two triangles. So we're going to be working in triangle ABC and triangle ADE. Remember the order doesn't matter at that point. You're just telling the teacher what triangles you are working in. And we need to now find three angles that are the same in those two triangles. Well, both triangles make use of this angle here. So we can say that angle A is equal to angle A and the reason for that is common. Number two, this angle over here, that's going to be the same as this angle over here. That is due to the fact that that angle B is on the outside of this cyclic quadrilateral. And remember from grade 11, we know that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is always equal to the interior opposite angle. Remember, if we have any type of cyclic quadrilateral, then the angle on the outside is always equal to the opposite interior angle. And so we can say that this angle here, please don't say B1 or B2. Use this, the following rather, so we can use A, B, C with a little copy on top of the B. So A, B, C, that should be equal to angle D. Angle D, we can just say D because it's obvious which angle we're talking about. And the reason for that is, oh, we must also just say angle D. And the reason for that is exterior angle of cyclic quad. And then the last angle is going to be automatically the same because of the sum of angles in a triangle. So that's this one and this one. So we can say that angle A, C, B is equal to angle E. And the reason for that is sum of angles in triangle. So there we've got three different reasons. So we can say, therefore, triangle. Now I'm just going to name the first one. A, B, C is similar. Now we must get the order correct. Well, in the small triangle, angle A goes with angle A in the big triangle. B in the small triangle, well, we know that that goes with D. And then C goes with E. Okay, And the reason for that is angle, angle, angle. Then we should always get into a good habit, remember, of writing out the ratios. So AB over AD is the same as BC over DE. And that's the same as AC over AE. If you ever get stuck at that part, remember all I'm saying is AB, so that's the first two letters, must go with the first two letters over there. Then I use the second letters like that, and the second letters like that, and then I use the first and the last, and the first and the last. You can do it in any order, but just make sure you match it up correctly. And then the reason for that one is that the corresponding sides are in proportion. And so now we can have a look at this over this part over here and see if we can find that in these ratios. So they want DE, so we circle DE. They want BC, there it is, and they want AE. But if we had to use cross multiplication with those two, we have a problem because that's going to give us AC. So let's go do it anyways. That's going to be BC over DE is equal to AC over AE. We use cross multiplication and that's going to give us BC times, so that's an E, and that should be equal to AC times DE. So we have this part correct, that's the same, 
but DE is okay, but then we have AC. But then, and they love to do this in exams, they've told us that AC is the same as DE. So we can say AC is the same as DE, why that was given to us. So therefore we can say that BC times AE is going to be equal to DE times DE. And DE DE is DE squared. So DE squared is equal to BC times AE. And that's it. So always look out for that on the test. If your ratios aren't working out perfectly, just see if you can find some extra information that they might have given you.